Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to the channel. We're gonna be doing some, uh, a video on the K-pop wrap-up. Because we're done, we're done with K-pop. It's gonna be gone soon, and that was a full month of a collab, and it was a crazy collab. None of the units are, like, extremely broken, but they're all pretty good in their own way. I enjoyed this collab. I actually tripled S two of the units and maxed out, you know, almost two of their artifacts while still pulling every unit. I'm out of resources to summon, but that's okay. The whole point of this collab was probably to burn out resources for the next while, since I don't think anything big will be coming in this month, and probably not until mid-next month. So, I want to talk about each one of these characters, and really give my opinion on every one of them, and, you know, where you can use them at. Because each and every one of these units have, you know, places that they can be ran, even PvP and PvE. I think, I think these units are well designed to be diverse into the game. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and we'll go ahead and talk about this. So we're gonna start off with the first one, which is Winter. Uh, Winter is, well, it was a very smart unit to release first because technically speaking, she was uh, arguably the most, uh, like the strongest one to most, in most people's eyes, she's the strongest. So they released her first. So you had to guess if Giselle or Karina would be better. And ironically, I think, I do think Winter still is technically above those two in most situations. Um, once again, you need her to pop her S2 uh, consistently for her to do that or to be considered better because if you don't keep refreshing this and you're not able to spam this, she's just kind of whatever. She's just a stun bot, right? She can, she can miss her stun on S1, but if you get that S2 stun off, she um, locks you down for two turns. And then she's able to refresh and hit you for damage and damage and damage. If she crits you, she can just instant kill Soul Reavers when this is fully stacked because it does like um, 20k fixed damage. It's, it's really ridiculous when this unit can pop off and perform like at her best, right? She's a really good unit. She requires um, very interesting gear because she just wants crit rate, speed, and bulk because her actual damage doesn't matter. It's the fixed damage that all really matters. You want to hit those crits, you want to make sure she's bulk, she's going to stay alive. I like mine at 246 speed. It seems to work just fine where I'm at, but obviously if you're trying to grind up higher, maybe to like champion or legend or emperor, I do think she needs to be a bit faster, but if you're just trying to casually play in RTA and you just find a good spot to draft her, this this type of build will work. Like it will work. Um, so I, I do like her. She just requires this thing to be maxed out and uh, you're good to go, right? She does require that plus 30 Secret Art, Sword, Sword, or Secret Art, Sword, Storm to be maxed, right? That's like her only requirement. Other than that, her gear is pretty budgetable because you just build her with HP on the ring, crit chance in the neck, and then smack, just smack speed and effectiveness on her. My effectiveness is kind of low, but honestly, it just it just works for the most part. Like, I'm not stunning Soul Reavers, but I will be stunning anything that's not a Soul Reaver for the most part, right? So if I just target a... Uh, a mitts or a damage dealer, most likely not. She lands stuns and you kind of just destroys them. Um, if you wanted to mid max her, uh, you could triple lesser for that 16.8%, and then don't chase a crit chance neck. You would just like chase high crit chance subs. You'd go for an HP neck and an effectiveness ring, and that could be a way you could flex, it, like kind of flex your build to be more, um, more on the effectiveness side because you do want effectiveness on her. It's just. Mine is bulky, so I'm sacrificing some speed and um, effectiveness for bulk. Uh, then we go into uh, Ning Ning. I like Ning Ning. I think Ning Ning is one of the one of the coolest units we've gotten in a while because we don't have options as to, like us us you know small spender free to play players didn't have options into barrier inversion. This unit completely changed our world. Yeah, she does need to be played in faster comps, even though her speed is kind of like only i think um what is it 114 base which is kind of slow but at the same time if you have really decent gear you can get her up to like 290 speed which is doable it just requires really good speed gear and uh she's fun she's a unit i think this unit's fun you pop her s3 against you know r walls pop those barrier stripper potentially and you pop her s2 on something that could be you know cutting ahead and she just cr boost your highest attack unit Really strong unit. Uh, the only thing I don't like about her is her S1, because for me, it just it just doesn't ever stun. Like this thing does not stun. 
I have to soul burn it for the stun most of the time. But I mean, her point is to just pop S3, quickly refresh it, and then go S2, S3, S2, S3. Like, because your S2 is on a fast cooldown. So, in in like in, in a way, you could also like cheese with her. Let's say they don't have a um, they don't have any barriers uh, against you. You can still use her because you can just pop her S2. And then when it's back to her turn, you can pop her S3, rotate her, try to stun, and by the time you come back to her on her third turn, her S2 is up and ready to go again, right? So that's really, really cool. Um, she could have... I could have went for more dupes for her. I think I think out of all the units, um, Ning Ning and J Ning Ning and Karina are the ones you should have went dupes for, because effectiveness is very important for a unit that requires the land strips, you know, and uh, pushbacks and stuns. This, this unit could definitely use more effect in this, and 27% would have been quite helpful. So whenever, and whenever they do bring the K-pop collab back, um, don't know if it'll ever happen. But if it does, I might consider going back in and pulling a couple copies for for that effect in this booth if she stays up and relevant is for a long time. I, I think she'll be a unit that does age very gracefully because she's got barrier inversion, and that's just something that's really hard to replace. On top of that, she's got a really good soul, uh, CR push. So for that reason, I really like this unit. I think Ning Ning is a very strong unit. She's just hard to gear, which I guess is okay, because I think she'll age very well. Um, then we go to the next unit, which was a unit that I was really hopeful for. Like, she's good, but I think initially, not just me, uh, you know, a lot of the community were like, she's going to be the Roy 2.0. Like, this unit has everything in her kit to be Roy, but just, like, green. Um, for the most part, she can do that job. It's just really hard to do it, because she can only get you two kills. At most, where Roy can sweep a field, he can kill all four, because of how he works. You soul burn his S1, you soul burn his S1, you pop his S3, and his S3 is, you know, an AoE, so everything's just kind of flattens and dies, right? You just you, you use your initial S1s to, to weaken, weaken those tanks, right? Kill kill revival unit, like, uh, Vildred, you know? You just kind of soften them up with the S1 before you just sweep them off your S3, right? This this unit doesn't really perform like that. Um, Her S3 just kind of, you know, Thanos snaps a unit out of the existence, and then her S1, uh, when you soul burn it, kind of just... You know, Thanos snaps someone else, and then there's still two enemies left on the field. So she needs a bit more follow-up. I feel like units with her that are very good are going to be, like, Green Sid, because Green Sid can also get some kills. Uh, obviously, you want to see our booster, so I like Zahawk with her. I like Ning Ning with her. She just needs another damage dealer on the field, because she's not a solo damage herself. She's more so a pseudo damage. She's really good on burst, but definitely needs a little bit of support. To, you know, help her get those and confirm those kills. But I really like this unit. I, there's a reason why I triple Esther. There's a reason why I plus 27 her artifact. I, I like this unit. I think there's a lot of potential for her in the future. It's just right now, we're just waiting for that one special unit that's like the Giselle, like, bestie that comes out. It needs to be like a damage dealing uh, unit that has CR pushing in the kit. So like, similar to Zahawk. We just need something similar to that. That might be like a different color, like potentially blue. So when you pick her and they try to pick red, you have a counter to counter. And then, um, you know, this unit and that unit can be like the duo that pops off. Because you can technically run her with Roy and uh, do the same thing. It's just, uh, it's a little tricky. She just needs another buddy, I feel like. And she, then she'll be where she needs to be. Uh, because like, units are getting so tanky. It's really hard to kill them. But she is very good for the most part. And I do like this unit. She's just tricky to draft more so than build building her is not the hardest you don't need her to be fast you just need a lot of damage like just a lot of damage in her and she's good to go um mine is actually okay um i still gotta fix her gear waiting for oh i think the expeditions are refreshed so i should be going to expos and seeing if i can fix up my giselle so i'll probably do that later today to see if i can get some destruction you know mod stuff and um try to roll some of my my pieces like i need to roll critical damage here i need to roll um this back to attack try to get that 4.5 attack and i think i'm just gonna go for a new pair of boots just because these kind of don't have the greatest stats so that i could i can fix her up in the future i just gotta fix a few things and then she'll be good to go she just need to balance her attack really really high and get her high high grade damage i feel like a lot of people struggle with her because they don't have enough attack and critical damage she's she's a unit that requires a lot of both so she can be kind of hard to build and then a uh, karina a unit that i kind of underestimated slightly i think she's still like very hard to use because 
she's not an anti-cleave unit she's an anti-aggro unit and what i mean by that is like you don't want to bring her into like uh cleaving units that can control right you want to bring her more so into units that uh do a lot of damage or are squishy like zeo for example uh if you can get away with her with zeo she's really good against zeo um what else um like fast cleaving units that are not like uh, that can be drafted in aggro, right? So if we go... I think I have a couple I can give an example of. So, um... Save your Aiden, oh, maybe, if you can hit her. Uh, like Spectre Tenebria, she can actually frag Spectre Tenebria if she goes before her uh, with her just splash damage. Um, other units like, um, Watcher Shuri, if she can go before him, she can kind of splash damage. Like, those, those fast units that have, like, 10,000 minus health. Like, 10k and less health that are not heavy control in units, she can really hurt. But when it comes to standard versus standard, it's a bit more trickier to utilize her. Because her, her splash damage really just does a lot towards the squishier units. When you draft her for standard versus standard, you more so want her for her defense breaking. But there's just other units that can do that for you. You have Adventure Arras that can do it for you. Like, there's just better options versus standard versus standard. But for her, you drag her into anti cleave units. Like, uh, for example, if you go against Valky, Valky's admitted this, that uh, this unit is very good into his playstyle because of the units that he drafts. They're mostly squishy, a little control, and you can just kind of punish them because he doesn't really control her. He's not silent. He's not going to be able to silence her. Well, I guess in theory, he could silence her. Um, he's not going to be able to, like, spam debuffs on her, right? So... For that reason, I think she's very good into aggro. Uh, if I were to switch, I, I just wish they would have buff this unit and gave her her, or give her a cleanse. If they just gave her a minor cleanse, would have been a lot better for her. Like I could, I could not a nitpick at every one of these units, and it'd be like what I would have changed for each one of them. But it, they would have been like meta meta by then if if I did that right. For for example, for Giselle, I feel like this shit has just been burned for extra. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. No, I think she should have stealthed herself off her S2. I think, one, she should have stealthed herself off her S2 after getting a kill. And then, two, um, for this, this should have gave her, gave her attack, like, right away, before attacking. And then for Karina, I think she should have cleansed off her S2. For Winter, I feel like Winter is nearly perfect. The only thing I would have changed on her is that instead of having the land to create, as long as you hit the enemy, you stack up and then for ning ning i think ning ning is perfect i would have just changed her base speed i would have gave her a uh, better uh better zodiac for base speed and i think every one of these units would have been that much better but that's that's just just me right that's just me trying to make them perfect uh having flaws in your units means there's always ways to make better units in the future or just make more um like the same type of unit in the future but like slightly variant right i look at giselle as a variant of roy she's just a variant of roy right so yeah, overall, this 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 collab was very good. I did go quite hard in this uh, collab. Um, before we do wrap up, though, I want to go to my community because uh, I asked this question like two days ago, and I asked you guys who your favorite K-pop unit was. Forty-two percent of you said Winner, ten percent of you said Ning Ning, twenty-three percent of you said Giselle, and twenty-five percent of you said Karina. Poor Ning Ning. I don't think Ning Ning's hated on because of her kit. I think I think design wise she's just whatever uh it does seem like winner is the most popular one to be fair she's the most universal to like many play styles my favorite is uh giselle by far and then i think it's uh karina winner and then ning ning so i agree with you guys um i think this is a uh, very interesting i'm glad to see that you guys did summon and uh, did have a favorite unit so let me know in the comments below what was your favorite k-pop unit and who did you go in for the most and did you chase dupes for them I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this Espa collab. It was actually kind of interesting, and I wouldn't mind it returning in the future. It gives me time to save then, so a month collab. Next time this returns, I can just sit and save and think about if I want to go in for, you know, more copies of Ning Ning. So until then, I'll talk to you all later. Let me know what you guys thought of the collab, what you would change about your favorite unit, and yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Peace.